Hello, and welcome to my channel, AB Make It Artwork, where we do what we do to make that artwork for you. And in this episode of the Zombabe series, I'm working on my Beach Babe. And I figured that with this design, I wanted to make a very curvy and rather pretty Zombabe. And so the backstory is that she's in a well-to-do family. Her husband's very successful in business. And they were on vacation when the zombie outbreak occurred. And so she was just at the swimming pool going for a dip. And that's when she got infected with the zombie uh, virus. Um, and some of the ideas with the concept was that I wanted some more pinup-esque looking zombies, since these are zombie pinup girls that are inspired by a bunch of different things. And I wanted the high waist kind of swimsuit. And I knew I wanted her to wear yellow. And the stripes kind of came as like a second thought. Because I just didn't want her bottom to be completely black. Like I wanted there to be lines, but the lines to also kind of show off her curviness. And I, overall, I was really pleased with how she came out. Um, when I first drew her, I was not very happy with the pose. It was too frontal. And it wasn't very interactive. And I had to sit down for a day and look at myself in a mirror and kind of rework myself into position to see like how it would look like if I were to put one knee over the other, crossing the legs so that she could be stitching up her stockings in a way, but more so stitching up her legs. Because being a zombie is hard. Like, you got stuff falling apart, you got pieces of you coming apart, you gotta be on top of your game, stitching up where you can, and you, you can see that she's had to go over her stitches a couple of times. Or maybe you can't. Maybe you need a magnifying lens to see all those stitches that have been worked over. But yeah, those were like the main things. I wanted someone curvy. I wanted her in a swimsuit. I wanted her to have stitches up her legs. But I also wanted her to have this really weird beehive hair. Like, I think that was like the first thing I thought of was the beehive hair. And the headband was an afterthought. I figured I needed to correct the hair so that it looked a bit better or more natural to the time that she was in or the time that she was emulating, which is pin-up hairstyles. And I realized it shouldn't be so big if it's at a certain angle. And uh, by watching a couple videos where people styled their hairs in like vintage looks, that I liked the idea of having that sort of bumped up bang area separated by a sort of headband. And I think she came out really cute. Um, I'm working on that exposed bit of muscle tissue under the skin that's tearing apart. And how I do that is I usually go with some, with a red, in this case it was Scarlet Lake, and then I dilute it down with a pink tone. I think that was PP3, which is like pale pink three, and Deco Peach. All around, like, I had a lot of fun working on the colors for this. Like, it was kind of last minute, some of the ways that I worked in her skin tone. But I did start off with a base. Well, I tried to start off with a base of light peach, but then I realized I wanted to work in the shadows first. So I started with a base of light cerulean, which I did for her eye shadow. Um, Lavender 1, LV1 of the Spectrum Noir series. Um, again, that pale pink three. And I think there's like flesh tone, which is FS three used in some aspects. I know when I put down the pale pink three, it's kind of a brighter pink and I would use that uh, deco peach to kind of smear it out and tone it down. I, but to like one hand, I really love how the lavender looked on the skin, it gives this this nice kind of luminescent quality that's also kind of a dead tone. 
Like normally you wouldn't put a bunch of lavender or blue into the skin tones for shading, but in this instance I really wanted to show that her skin's kind of going through decomposition, that it's decaying, that it would lose some pigmentation of lively rosy tones, but I didn't want to do it so much to make it look unappealing or unattractive. And I found that to be something I've had to work on with this series, that I have to make it to where it looks like the characters are indeed dead, but not so dead that it's unattractive to look at the piece. Although I do really want to push the gore aspect for future designs. And like other than that, this series has been very fun for me to work on. It's given me something to focus on as far as my art goes, because I know that from time to time it's hard to figure out what to focus on when it comes to drawing and when you decide on like a certain theme or concept for a series of well, concept pages, character sheets, it really helps you to like have a motivation to continue on. Like you know what you're gonna do and you're gonna go through with it and it just makes it so much easier. At least I find it easier. And other than that, I usually find that if I give myself a sort of time limit on when to get these done, like a week, that also helps me to work better. But if I write it down, like I slowly have less will to do it if I write it down, which I guess is weird. Uh, right now I'm going in with a Sharpie. Had to recorrect the camera because another ad popped up and wanted to fix the angle. I'm using a yellow Sharpie because I didn't want to use up my yellow Prismacolors. It's about the same as the Prismacolor I had anyways in yellow. And I'm going around doing that border. And obviously the border is going to differ from what I had for my initial concept because the pose changed quite a bit. And even though it changed, like I usually kept the shapes about the same from what I had on the concept page. I really think it was very cute. And the reason why I went with a similar color is that I wanted her hair to kind of be a focal point with the fact that it's like, this really bright red and she's surrounded by this yellow oh and I went with a border of lavender because I figured that would look cute Instagram plug insert here uh, if you want to see pictures or stay up to date with me you can find me on Instagram at ab.makeitartworks and that was my little minute marker as well but yeah, I went with lavender, and this is where I brought lavender 2 in because I wanted a slightly darker color to that border because it was it's complementary to the yellow, but it's still a muted color because I didn't want it to be dark. I wanted it to be soft. Like, I wanted her to be soft and curvy and very bright. I wanted her to hair to stand out from the rest of the swimsuit. And I think it was really cute and poppy with the colors. I was very pleased with it. And yeah, I'm going back with that lavender. I really liked it. Here you can see all the supplies I used, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, make sure to do what you do to make that artwork for you.